Okay, we are back and we have the Canon Rebel EOS T3. The kit is the EF S uh, 18-55 is the uh, lens that came with it, the IS2. And it's a little smaller uh, package than I expected. I expected a little bit larger package. Um, so we're just going to um, dig in here and see what all we ended up with um, with getting. And try to be as careful as possible. If you can see um, in, a, in a place where there, you know, is dog hair and everything. So I'm going to be as careful as possible. Um, so it looks pretty standard <clears throat> right off the bat. You get the uh, the Canon limited warranty um, and everything. So and it looks like for the U.S. and Canada only. Um, and I would assume that that includes Puerto Rico. Um, so we will set that off to the side and go in and. This looks like a more advanced, limited, uh, more advanced information on the limited warranty. Again, U.S. and Canada only. Unfortunately, um, they, unfortunately, it's only U.S. and Canada. But this shows, you know, all the different lenses you can get and to register your camera with Canon and everything. And I've already done the pre-registration with Canon. I just need to um, go in and finish out and register my camera now. So uh, this looks like <clears throat> some information um, on the EOS T3 um, EOS 11, 1100D looks like is the one that I ended up with. Uh, I got this off a, a sale it's S-A-L-E bids B I D Z dot com and it was a uh, it's a it's a bidding place where you can bid on different items and everything and um, I bid two hundred and eighty five dollars for this camera and it normally sells for six hundred so I think I did pretty good two eighty five isn't isn't bad I didn't think this is a solutions disc, uh, 24.1. Uh, we'll put it in, see what it does. This is for uh, Macintosh, so uh, I won't... Uh, oh, there it says on the other side. It says for Windows. So it's for either or Macintosh or Windows, which is very, very nice. And this is the camera instructions manual. And I'm using right now, I'm using a Sony camera and it actually has more pixels than the camera that I got this Rebel T, uh, T3 only has 12 point some pixels megapixels but I heard that it isn't the megapixels that you're so worried about it is uh, you should be more worried about the lens and and things like that so we'll see in the instructions this is also for Macintosh and for Windows also um, currently I have a regular Windows uh, computer so um, eventually I will upgrade to a Macintosh because I want to use um, my uh, I want to use Photoshop on on there and and do some photoshopping and stuff so that's it that's a great instruction manual um, also looks like a software instruction manual that comes um, in possibly a different language uh, We'll, we'll we'll check them both out and, and we'll see what which uh, if they if we need both of them and then this little flap just flaps up. So first off, it looks like we've got a strap. Looks like a very nice sturdy strap. It's uh, about two two and a half three inches in. Um, so it's it's a pretty it's a pretty nice strap um, we'll see what it looks like once we get it all um, all out and everything um, this looks like uh, lens so we're going to be very careful with that we don't want the lens to get 
uh, dirty or anything and currently I don't have a lens cleaner so I, I want to be as careful with that as possible you can see right there the Canon symbol that's the lens cover for the lens and then I'm sure there's another cover on the back so we want to be as careful with that lens as possible you just and this is a standard uh, standard little spot to uh, plug your uh, battery in and then um, this little thing just flips out and you plug it in and you rest your battery I would assume that it takes up to 24 hours to fully charge the battery I'm not positive but usually a battery of this of this substance would take about um, about an hour to fill the battery and as far as life I'm assuming three hours at least you would get out of it so you know definitely watch um, and see if you notice a difference in my shooting um, between the Canon now this this Canon and uh, the Sony that I'm using to film this uh, see if you notice a difference in the in the two and if you do let me know if you notice a difference in, in my shooting this uh, this should be the battery it is uh, and you just take off the plastic piece that's on the very end here uh, you'll take off this plastic of course and then um, put it in the cradle and charge it and you should have a full battery in approximately 24 hours this looks like the link that links it into your computer so you plug in this little piece right here into the camera and this is the USB port and that plugs into your computer so then you can directly download your photos and your videos and things like that so that's a great little piece glad they added that and this should be the camera actual camera part so, if I had a place to sit this down, I would, but since I don't, I'm going to be very careful because I'm assuming that they have lens caps on everything, but I'm just not positive. So give me one second as I take this out and it's in a very soft, soft little covering and everything. And we're just going to take this off, just like this. And there we have the back of the camera. And this is the front. And of course, it does have the lens cover on it. Thank you, um, Canon, for adding that um, piece because it keeps the lens just that much cleaner. And as you can see, all the different functions. Um, you know, this function, the green function, is always the function to take. Uh, take photos and let it automatically just go about its business and do and do its own thing and everything. Um, I believe this is like a a button, a functional button that that will let you scan through your functions as um, as you're looking at them on the camera. You can move this little button right here that I'm turning, and it's right next to the camera actual shutter button. The shutter button is right there. And this is the on-off button. Of course, there isn't a battery in there because I just got it. You can see the spot for the tripod. And it's a fairly heavy camera. Yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with the, with, the, uh, with the weight of the camera. It's a nice weight. Um, it's exactly what I wanted. This is the zoom. These are the zoom buttons right here. Zoom in and out. And then the just the different auxiliary buttons here um, will help you with uh, setting your setting your date and setting all your all your different settings and everything. And I'll go through those later on once I learn the camera a little bit more with you. And um, it just looks pretty. Uh, it looks like a very very nice. It, it's exactly what I what I expected it to look like. It's exactly what I was expecting for the for a camera, and um, as you can see, it's the EOS T3 right there, and then this little piece right here flaps up. That that's your uh, actual flash that's um, in, involved in the camera itself. That's the flash that will normally be used, unless of course you attach a flash here. 
you can also attach different lenses and stuff uh, have a port that ports right here and then they come around the front and attach to the lens cap here but those are some you know for for very fine detail and and um, very very fine imaging so that's the Canon EOS T3 Rebel and from now on I'll be shooting primarily through this unless I'm telling you about this camera and then I'll be shooting from my um, the Sony that I'm shooting on right now so um, I hope that helps you out a little bit with uh, what you're gonna expect out of this primer this kit primarily and if I shut everything up right here um, you'll be able to see the it's the Canon Rebel EOS T3 and then right here is the other information on the kit that I got and that just basically tells you the 1855 is the lens that I'll be using and stuff like that so um, definitely check out Canon Canon has some great products right now and it looks like they're getting more and more reasonable you can see it's gonna shoot in HD this also this camera that I'm shooting on is also HD so um, it should be it should come out really good so I'm gonna post this on my uh, link on www.imagutenbed.com and then um, just go to the video booth and it will our um, product review or whatever I have it labeled as and you'll be able to see a little more of the Canon Rebel T3 EOS and um, the different functions and stuff as I learn them okay thank you I hope you enjoy this